Hello guys, hope you're all well. Hope everything's uh, hunky-dory for you and that you're getting through this um, situation we're in, wherever you are in the world. Um, terrible, isn't it? Mm, very awful. Um, so, I'm doing this video really just for two very quick reasons. It shouldn't be very long. One is Titanic bulkheads are now in production, as it were. You can see you've got some here. <laughs> you can see them stacked up. And as you can see here, there's some in the moulds, and I've got two practically empty resin containers. That's all I've got left. And I've just checked on the website where I get my resin from, and it's all depending on whether DPD still delivers. So today being Saturday, the was it 28th of um, of March 2020, I will check on Monday and see what the situation is, and we'll go from there. Um, but at the moment I have got one, two, three, four, five, six sets um, and a few spare bees to go. There is a list of names which I put down first come first served and only a couple of you have been in touch. That's why I'm doing this email really. Um, Catscan64, Gary Flowers, Bobby McCauley and Roger Clark. You are basically top of the list. Um, and then we've got Barry Clark and Cliff Hoekser. Uh, so there's I can probably fulfill those orders I think so um, let me know um, so if, if you want some get in touch Nigel's modeling bench at gmail.com um, and the cost is 19 pounds um, for a set and then additional bees are four pounds so um, there you go I've sent some out um, Jane Goodwin Mark Pullen and Rocky Sink You've had yours sent out to you. Um, two of those are in the UK, so you may well have got them this morning. If not, you'll get them Monday. But obviously with the current situation, the postage is going to be delayed. Uh, the other one has gone to America, so they claim six to seven days. Um, it's recorded, signed for, tracked and all that, so you should get it six to seven days, I would say. But then, depending how bad things are, how they get, affect the post service and that, we'll, we'll see. The other thing I want to talk about, um, I, I've noticed that some people on YouTube are doing this um, hashtag stay home with, you know, so I was thinking doing a hashtag stay home with Nige build, um, whereby I sort of do a one hour daily video on a build. And I was thinking to keep this interesting for sort of, you know, everyone and not have me sat there finically sort of you know cleaning up little tiny plastic parts and stuff i was wondering if you guys be interested in me doing a like something like a 16 scale radio controlled tank i've got four i've got three unbuilt um there's the there's the sherman and the pershing i would probably prefer to do the sherman to be honest um so let me know what you think i mean i, I could do sort of half an hour to an hour every day and sort of put the camera on and run you know rather than you know keep jumping out of little parts and stuff just if you've seen my other channel Nigel's Land Rover channel I'm doing a video build on there of a, um, a Land Rover CC01 and I basically just put the camera on let it run for 30 to 40 minutes and you see everything and it's sort of based at all levels so you know the person who's never built a radio control model before can follow it it might be something that will just you know Maybe maybe you get a, a, an hour slot every day where you're dead bored and there's nothing on TV you want to watch. Maybe you could sit down with your kids and watch it. Whatever I don't know, but um, let me know what you think. It's something I'm I'm happy to do. Um, you know, in between working on the Land Rover, which is what I seem to spend most of my time doing, which is why you haven't really seen me on you doing any plastic modeling lately. I'm really sorry. One is my nails are normally disgusting, um, so you can't really do modeling with your hands like that. Two. Um, I'm doing a lot of grinding work and sandblasting and stuff, so my hands are, I get sort of um, a repetitive strain injury, whatever you call it, and my fingers get a bit tingly, so um, I have to sort of leave it alone for a couple of days, but holding small plastic parts, forget it. Um, and also, like I said, I've been, out, I've been out there a lot. So let me know what you think. If you'd like to see a, a build of um, a radio-controlled Tamiya kit from start to finish and you know, camera on all the time, sort of nothing done off camera other than perhaps a little bit of painting or spraying, should I say, um, then let me know. Uh, but yeah, these Titanic bulkheads, there's 
six sets here, a few extra bees. You know, if you're one of those people that I, I named at the beginning of the video, please get in touch. If you if you're not one of those people I named on the beginning of the video and you want some, drop me an email. I will add you to the list. I've currently got 16 names um, on the list, and I've managed to fill full, fulfill five of the orders. Um, John Gardner and Southend 62. You have actually the orders are actually packaged up here there we go yours are packaged up ready to go so they'll go out to you on monday and uh that's basically it really so um let me know what you think about the radio control build and i'll see you all soon stay safe um stay in stay out of the crowds and just you know do what the government's asking us to do and and we should we will get through this uh, eventually it's a bloody awful, terrible situation. I'll see you all soon, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Bye for now.